Hi everybody, Millie here. I wanted to show you today, in a little quick nibble, four different ways of loading BASIC on the Coleco Atom and let you compare the speeds of each one. I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to get a rough idea how long it takes. The first one I'm going to load is, I'm going to load Smart BASIC from Datapack. And this has not been reset to the center, so it's going to have to find it first. So that gives you an even better idea how long it's going to take. So first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit the reset and I'm going to hit start same time. Ready? Alright, so, as you can see, we're counting. And we'll see what the time is after each one. Grab my pen and paper over here so I can write them down. So that we can just do a rough comparison. That's going to go data pack. We're going to do disk. We're going to do SD card and we're going to do cartridge. Yes, you can load Smart Basic from a cartridge. James Walters makes them. I believe he's still making more of them too. I'll find out when I post the video and I'll try to put a link down into the description. Maybe he has an eBay link for it. But we're loading it up here. We're at 50 seconds and going. Still, it's not too long considering this is, like I said before, about 28K in size it has to load. So it's moving along pretty quickly, considering. Cursor came up, that means Smart Basic has loaded. Now what it's doing is setting itself up. It's also going to look for Hello, which is the initializing program. If you have a Hello program on the data disk, it will start that up. So there we go. Yeah. I'd say 1.14 because I wasn't actually watching to hit the stop. So let's just say 1 minute 14 seconds for the data pack. All right. Get you out of the way. Reset that. Now we're going to go to floppy disk. Put the floppy over in here. Oh, you know what I should do before I do that? I need to plug the floppy back in. I unplugged the floppy back and forth because I'll plug in the SD card and I'll switch over to floppy depending on what I want to do. I like running off of floppy but if I'm bringing any code from my other computer I have to use the SD card or else it's a very convoluted come on it's a very convoluted process to do that to put software on a floppy I got to copy it to a compact flash card take it over to my 286 portable to write it to a five and a quarter inch disk this is what we got here. Let's put the Smart Basic disk in here. Get this ready to go. Hit start and reset at the same time. Let's see how long it takes. This is the one that plays music for a few seconds. I gotta take my monitor apart. Something is loose down in here and the sound the volume comes and goes. And there we go, 18 seconds for, data dr or for disk drive much better much much better so 18 seconds for that we'll put that to the side reset that unplug that plug this into the SD card now the SD card I just want to reset the SD card because sometimes it doesn't like being plugged and unplugged reboot this up to the loader menu so I can select the image and I'm going to load the same one that that one. Just load it, Smart Basic again. Ready? I'm going to hit enter and start at the same time. And we have nine seconds loading from SD card. Very quick, very quick. Let's unplug that now, get that out of the way. Because I don't want it to do anything. This is the cartridge. What this is, this has Smart Basic on it that's been put on a, an EEPROM and a small loader that when you put the cartridge in, if you start it up in Atom, it's not going to understand how to do this because this is actually a ColecoVision cartridge. What happens is you reset into ColecoVision mode. This loads into lower RAM and then kicks over to Atom and runs it. So let's just see how long it's going to take to do that. Oh. Come on. Stop. Reset. Thank you. Here we go. Less than one second. I didn't even get a chance to hit the stop. So if you really want to use BASIC on the Atom, I recommend you get this right here. Very fast. 
and that's a little nibble. Have a good day.